Hello, I created a little standalone version of the prototype. It's super basic, so don't um, don't go thinking it's a game. Uh, and also, you're almost certainly going to run into some kind of bugs or glitches. Um, you can report them if you want, but don't expect them to get fixed. This is a very, very primitive thing. So, generally speaking, you'll want to put a facility in North America somewhere. You probably won't have these pre-existing facilities since they are comp uh, there's a save file on my machine. Uh, Speaking of which, I really hope that Unity automatically adapts the location of the save files. I suppose I'll find out soon enough when you guys play it. By clicking, you can create a facility or revisit an existing facility. So, there are a couple of modes here. This is floor placement mode, which is definitely where you're going to start. Now, you do have a fairly strict cache limit, but you can always restart, you know, quit out and reload, and, uh, and you'll keep all of your old facilities and have a new $2,000 cache limit. So don't feel too worried about it. So the first thing we need to do is see if we can get some science in the mail. So let's go ahead and place down some floors here. WSAD will move you and shift and control will take you up and down. So it's like a Kerbal um, uh, out of, you know, the, the method of using uh, the, the navigation method in Kerbal. Uh, mouse wheel will um, uh, change what you've got and middle click will delete whatever you have your mouse on. Now if we were to place some walls, because we place walls they are no longer default walls and they won't get overwritten as we expand so you can separate rooms out like that if you'd like. And of course you can decorate it to your heart's content by using the mouse wheel to change what kind of wall you're placing. And then place it. Now in order to actually make money you're going to need a mail desk because the mail desk is your only way of contacting the outside world and that means that uh, you know, you'll know you want to be able to um, uh, send out mail to get your money back. Uh, the government, obviously you can only interact with them via mail so have a mail station. But there are two other stations that you're going to want to start off with and those are, oh this is a little finicky, I'm not sure where the bug is but you may have to uh, reselect things on occasion. Um, your, your mode may change unexpectedly and I don't know why. So the cubicle handles small dirty work stuff and the desk handles actual science paper writing stuff. You actually don't have to start with these if you want. You can literally just mail out observations but you won't get very much money for it. Let's go ahead and create ourselves some science. So there's a lot of different options but this one is the one that costs the least and requires the least so let's go ahead and set up a bank of these. There we go. And then we're going to go into assignment mode here. Now in assignment mode we can click on these guys and then direct them all into the cubicle. There we go. And then we can take this cubicle and we can direct it over to the science desk. And then we can take the science desk and we can direct it over to the mail desk. And then time is paused in this mode, but if you go back to any other mode, you can press period or comma to accelerate or decelerate time, just like Kerbal. You can see that we're getting $10 grants here. Now if we wanted to get more than that, there's a lot of things we could do. One of the things we could do is put in better science. Another thing we could do is uh, we could put another set of cubicles in and write studies and then write reports based on studies. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that to you guys to figure out. Um, just be aware that you can, in fact, as far as I know, create every single one of those objects. Um, it's, it's, uh, you, can, you can buy the computer even though it says you can't because you can create enough uh, electronics to purchase it. So play around with it, see what you think. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a tech prototype. It's not supposed to be balanced or anything. So when you hit escape, you return to the world view. So feel free to decorate this world with as many facilities as you'd like. But keep in mind that if you pick somewhere like, um, oh, I don't know, Africa, you might have a hard time uh, just because there's not a whole bunch of stuff really easy to purchase uh, at that level in, uh, what is this, 1940-something. So keep that in mind. Anyhow, uh, I'll make that available. You can see it in the link down below. It's about a 90 meg uh, file. So, Oh, and it's only Windows compatible at this point. I could release it for other people if they decided they really wanted it. I mean, you know, if a Mac, Mac user group suddenly decided they really wanted to play this, I don't have any problem releasing it for them, but uh, just Windows at the moment.